come along on this tour of Chimney Rock National Monument with spectacular views and a lot of information. Hi, I'm Don with Cowboy Biker Adventures. I think you're going to like this tour of this beautiful national monument. Let's start off with a map that shows you the exact location of Chimney Rock. It is in between Pagosa Springs and Durango, Colorado, right off of Highway 160. Let's take a look around of the entrance of Chimney Rock right off of Road 151. After a short drive from the entrance, you come to the office where you buy your tickets and there is a gift shop. But because of COVID, the gift shop and information is outside. Why I was outside of the office, I ran into this really nice couple that was traveling on vacation in their RV and they had a car they pulled behind it. So they gave me a ride to the top of where this all begins, the hiking part, instead of me having to walk two miles up this mountain road. I am sorry I do not remember their name, but they were so kind to do that for me. As we start our walking tour, we're going to go visit the lower village first before we start to climb up to Chimney Rock. There will be a volunteer that will share information with us about these different buildings, huts, I believe they called them, that these people lived in many, many years ago. there were two groups of people at Chimney Rock. So the locals who built houses like this and then people from Chaco Canyon who, who uh, built the house at the, the great house at the very top. And when you get up there Danny will tell you about the great house. But this is a, a typical pit house for this area. Now as you guys are walking down you can see these what we call crater mounds and these are all unexcavated pit houses right here. So that these are circular houses that the roof has caved in on. Well, that's what this looked like here, this pit house. The roof had caved in. We think this house was probably burned before the people left. Um, so that's a good thing in some ways because we were able to recover a lot of artifacts from inside this house. Um, another thing that's kind of unique about this pit house is how it has these three rooms attached on the outside. And we think these were either storage rooms or work rooms. Now, um, as the women in this group, our job a lot of days would have been to kneel in front of this matate, the big stone, and grind our corn and beans with the smaller stone, which is called a mono. So it takes a lot. It's just grinding back and forth, making a flour, and that's what we feed our families for dinner. Um, here we have set up uh, 
what it might have looked like inside one of the workrooms. So probably um, Mano Matate. And then the third one there may have even been something they used to grind pigments. So, you know, plants for dyeing their weaving um, or making paint for their pottery. Um, so you can take a look at this. Um, and then when you're finished here, you can go down and take a look at the kiva. That is called a great kiva because it's bigger than 35 feet in diameter. Um, it's not anywhere near as sophisticated as what we see in the top. Um, kiva is simply a place where people gather either as kind of like a community center or as a, a place of ceremony. Um, we don't even think that kiva had a roof on it, so um, more like a wide open kind of gathering spot. Do you guys have any questions? What would the roof be made out of? So the walls would have come up about this height and then they would have had posts that kind of went up and uh, across. They weaved tree branches, you know, they threw twigs and leaves and dirt and uh, basically kind of mortared it, add water, it gets real hard. And the only way to get into any of the structures at Chimney Rock is to come up on the outside, you come up, come up a ladder, you walk across the roof, and you go down the end. Hmm. And when you get back up there in the parking lot, where, uh, where Ernie's up there now, um, we actually have a model of this house, what it would have looked like up there, which is really cool. Okay. It really helps you visualize what this would have been. What time frame is this? This was probably built in the mid-900s, so 950 to 975. Um, so these people were building much earlier than the great house at the top that wasn't built until 1076. There are definitely local people in this area. And I assume the entrance is to keep out uh, unwanted creatures. That's what I'm thinking, either four-legged or two-legged. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Yep. Now, you said you did discover some artifacts. Yep, lots of artifacts. I mean, obviously there's probably more than this. Where, where are those? Um, all the artifacts found here and the excavations at the top were all sent out to different museums. So all, all our artifacts are all over the world. Okay. There's not one place. And they are building that new visitor center down below, but even then they won't have the proper storage for the artifacts. So well, well, it's nice if there's that many. Yeah, there's you know, definitely. And they've had some really cool stuff here. So. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Pottery. Just Pottery. Um, you know, tools, uh, you know, in this room here they found a, a pottery, a, a pot of charred corn, so, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah these are very, very good. Well, they, this looked like that, right? It looked like a big crater map. And so what they do, the archaeologists do, is they take everything out, so they get into the footprint, and then they start putting a scale model of what the huts used to look like that we were looking at earlier and we'll be looking at in a moment. As we start our climb to the big house that's up at the top by Chimney Rock, we're going to first go here to the left to some more buildings at the lower village. That's where we're going.
I do have to admit there were spectacular views on both sides. The only problem is when you have this thing about heights, it does not help when the trail gets narrow and there's a drop off on both sides. Plus, it is a little strenuous for someone my age. I was out of breath a lot because, again, it is high in altitude also. As we reach the great house towards the top of the mountain, let's take a look around. Also, this gentleman at the top, another volunteer, is going to give us some information about it. Thing you can tell me on film if you don't mind. Okay, so you saw the two kilo. Okay, this kilo was built 1076 during the Northern Moon Standstill. The far kilo was built in 1093 during the Northern Moon Standstill. Very important astronomical event, but also spiritual event. And the ancient ones, their spiritualism was based off of the heavens, the woods, the, the forest, and an underworld. So, this was a very, very important site because it replicates a the spiritualness that they have in their community. We think. Any other questions? I, th I don't know enough to ask. Okay. <laughs> The bottom lays there are original. Yeah, so it's uh, you're looking at a lot of original stonework here. So, but they had to do using modern cement.
here we are we made it to the top and there we're looking at chimney rock Please be sure to stick around to the end. I'll have more beautiful scenery pictures that I think you will enjoy. As we start back down this mountain that also has beautiful views on the way down, I want to thank you for coming along this tour of Chimney Rock National Monument. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see adventure videos about once a week, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you will not miss any future videos. So until next time, have a good one.